Sure, so one of the most exciting areas of agritech over the next three to five years is the data revolution. Essentially, we're moving into big data, AI, and analytics, which has historically been the providence of technology space, but now has moved into ag in a very meaningful way. The second factor we find to be very meaningful in the next three to five years will be connected devices, or what we call IoT. That means that every aspect of the modern agriculture, supply chain, food chain, will essentially be lit up and give the ability to create this big data, which then in turn can bring that analytic home. And the final aspect is mobility. And really that's not only a developed country, but a developing country opportunity, which will allow countries like India to improve their agriculture dynamics by tenfold. So I really call this AgTech 3.0. And essentially, really, this is the connected device. And when we talk about that, that's Internet of Things, as we like to call it. And that allows every aspect of the modern ag tech space, as I was saying, to essentially become another pointer to give direction, to essentially create data, and allow the farm, if it's actual you know, agriculture, or into the entire supply chain, to have a level of visibility that's expected in every other modern manufacturing world. Clearly, agriculture has always been a very narrow margin business. As we like to say, you know, when you're on the production side of agriculture, that makes just about any other industry look very, very stable. If you imagine that the average farmer puts seeds in the ground and is then at the peril of pests, weather, and everything else. So this is a very high risk sport and, and oftentimes very narrow margin. So the ability to find the margins to allow for the adoption of new technologies there. However, what we found is you know, the farm space at all is one of the most innovative is out there starting with plows and, and the industrial revolution so they will adopt anything that works very rapidly like on the disruptive side finance is a very good example I mean traditionally finance and agriculture could be as simple as government-based financing all the way to people in India for example at a local village level lending almost in a pawn shop type manner so you know global finance is going to make a very big impact in the agriculture space I mean, I really divide that by the specialty crops or the distinct advantages of the total regions. I think in particular, California, it being so close to the technology hub itself, becomes a great petri dish. It's a very high value crop uh, section. And so you're essentially able to have everything from wine to high value row crops on a very quick turn basis to, ch to essentially adopt technology with. Sure, so certainly I'm going to plug our own company. So mycotechnology in the ag tech, food tech space is certainly quite interesting. Uh, many of the others on the data side will turn out to be very interesting as well. Uh, you know, the investment space is just coming into its own, and we're very excited about this. So, you know, consumers moving to the free movement, meaning all natural, non-GMO, and, and essentially that free from all, is bringing ag tech into a next phase. It's, it's forcing the industry to essentially try natural models to do that, and also to create traceability, big data, and so on, so you know where your stake originated. The World Agritech Investment Summit is critical to the new innovation in, in ag tech investing. It gives us an opportunity to meet up with our other investors, see innovative new companies, and really creates a hub for us to interact with the whole ag tech space. It's one of the few events globally we wouldn't miss, and you know, as it continues to grow, uh, I think the ag tech space benefits from it as a whole.